This video will demonstrate how to get the uh, uh, lab assignments for each uh, module in WebMic, which units to study and interact, and which specimens in WebMic to access. <clears throat> so we're in the, <clears throat> the course website here, and I'm just going to click, uh, scroll down here, and I'm going to click on the uh, first module. Uh, and actually, this video I'm, I'm making is going to appear right here in this first module. Okay, so uh, first you click on the assignments, and this is where you find uh, all the lectures uh, that are assigned for the, each module, as in Module 1. And for example, uh, which units to study in uh, WebMic using the histology laboratory exercise. So let's just uh, say we're going to study epithelium, and that's unit three. Okay, so I'm going to go out of this, and I want to go to that unit in the WebMic study guide, the histo histology laboratory exercise. So I know that's on page 21, so I'm going to immediately go there. So you have a cover page for each of the units, this is epithelium, and right here you have really a summation of the types of epithelium that you will uh, be learning. And then the overall objectives, overall over overview and objectives. And so here's your first specimen. So you're directed to go to WebMic and find in WebMic simple columnar epithelium. So you're going to go in the general histology section, as I'm uh, indicating right here, and you're going to, under epithelium, you're going to choose simple columnar epithelium. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside for a moment, and you need to make, make sure you make a uh, bookmark to WebMic. So we'll enter WebMic, and the first thing we're going to do, and by the way, uh, everyone needs to, when you first access WebMic, go to the help and watch this video tour. Uh, I think it should be very helpful. Okay, so we're going to go uh, back and we're going to go to the navigate and we're going to general histology, epithelial tissue, and now I'm going to remind myself it's simple columnar epithelium, renal papilla, hematoxin, and eosin. So I'm going to ch choose this specimen here. Okay, so we have a 5x, we have a 20x, and a 40x. You can move this around or move this around. You can uh, expose the screen like that. And so uh, then in the uh, lab manual, you're given a table below the, uh, the screenshot of the reference image here. This image right here is displayed above a table. And the table shows the different magnifications that are available and the structures that are annotated in each of the magnification. And if a structure is bolded, that, that means there's text to read about that uh, structure right on the screen. So I'm going to move this out of the way, and I'm just going to take the 40x objective, and, uh, and then I go to the toolbox and turn the labels on. So there are the labels. And you can view it in a circular manner, or you can remove the screen like that. and uh, and move this around. If you get more territory uh, and expand your uh, window in your browser, you'll see more. But here are the texts you can read uh, for each of the specimens. Okay, so that's what you do. You go through each of the specimens. Then after you finish several specimens, you're going to encounter some questions. What does the term simple denote when referring to an epithelium? What are the basic cell types? These questions are designed to help you re reflect on what you've been attempting to learn. And then when you go to the end of the epithelial unit, you will see those same questions at the, at the very end, which I'm scrolling down. You can see each of those specimens. So you have a summary. And then here are the answers to the questions. So what does the term simple denote when referring to an epithelium? Well, it means one layer of cells. So that is the way that you should use the lab manual 
with web mic back and forth back and forth and study the specimens and take advantage of these questions and the answers to the questions okay so um, I hope that is helpful and demonstrating how you're going to use the lab manual the hard copy with WebMic.